Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Mrs. Klosky and this is our 11th video in the pasta restaurant development series. And today we are going to work on the recipes page. All right, I've got a preview of the page for you. I think we called our sample recipes, but our recipes is what I did in my sample. And you'll see here at the top under our title, I have what we call an image accordion. And so when you click on one of these pictures, not only do you get the hover effect, which is an opacity of our red overlay color, but when I click this, it'll take me down to an anchor with the recipe that I clicked. I can go back up to the top. If I scroll underneath this image accordion, I've got a little section with a full section with a background, which is our pattern, that page background. It looks like it has a little bit of opacity on it, so it's not fully opaque. It's somewhat transparent. I've got some text in here that I will provide for you and an image of the fictional owner of the restaurant. And then I've got this divider line here which you've seen before, so I think we should probably take and make this into a template so we're reusing it consistently without having to recreate the wheel every time we want to use it. Then I've got just four different two column layouts with, uh, first of all, just a title in its own section, and then underneath I have just two columns with a recipe and the picture that you saw above, except without any overlay, reusing my divider lines. All right, so that's all there is to it, but now we have to make it. Great. So I'm gonna start at the top with a one page, or excuse me, a one section layout. And in that layout, I'm gonna go to my widgets and I'm gonna type, uh, I'm gonna type image and see what I get here. I'm looking for this EA image accordion. I'm gonna drag it into my section. And wow, looks a little busy because it's populating for us, okay? Over here in our properties area, I've got four different items. If I'd like to add more, I would just click add item. If I click on one of the items, it contracts and expands, or expands and contracts, all right? If I want to customize the first one, I would click on that and then I would come and choose an image. So let's upload some files. I'm going to go select files and in my pasta website files under images, I'm going to grab the recipes and I'm just going to select all four of these and open them and they are uploading. All right, this first one is, we should label all of these. So I'm going to do the first one and then I'll pause the video while you do the other ones. Pasta restaurant. And the first one is pasta putanesca. Putanesca, there we go. All right, I'm going to select all, copy, and paste, and paste, paste. I'm going to go ahead and insert this. Great. This title of this, I'm going to paste. I'm going to back out. There we go. And the content is going to say, click here to view recipe. I'm going to update. Remember I can click on the title to minimize this first recipe. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm ready to work on the second one. I'll go grab the image. The second image okay, is going to be called pasta with red peppers and broccoli. So I'm going to type Pasta restaurant and paste that, copy, paste it in for the title, 
caption, and the description. This helps with our search engine optimization results. I'm going to go ahead and insert that media. I'm going to change the accordion title name. I do not want the words pasta restaurant in that, so I'm just going to back it out. And again, click here, or click for recipe. I'm going to select that and copy it. And I just want to be consistent. So I'll minimize this one, check to make sure my other one said the same here. Update. All right. Clicking again on my title. I'm working on the third one. I'll go grab the picture first. This is my pasta restaurant. Ah. And this is going to be Mexican frittata. All right. And I'll select all and copy, paste it the title and the caption and the description, insert. That means we can now come up and change the title. We'll paste, delete that introduction there that we were using. And this was click for recipe, exclamation point, update. One more to go, folks. All right, minimize that. Click on the last one. Add the image. All right, this guy is going to be angel hair pasta with chicken. So, pasta restaurant dash Select all copy. Down here, click for recipe, exclamation point, and I think we need to give this a title. We'll paste, delete the words pasta restaurant, and update. All right, I am pretty sure this looks good. Yep, looks nice. So what I'd like to do is you'll notice when I hover, it kind of has this kind of deep, dark gray overlay. I just like to customize that just a little bit. So I'm going to scroll to the top. I'm going to go to the style and I'm going to go to my hover overlay. I'm going to choose my standard red for this website. I'm going to take this to about half. Okay. And now you can see that when I hover, it's got just kind of that little reddish tone to it. I'm going to update the page. All right, and I'll see you in the next video.